Hey collective, it's your girl Lightwork Goddess and Tara. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, then be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But if you're coming back for more, hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. So today I want to do a reading for who's evil eyeing you collective. And the reason why I'm doing more collective readings is just because like personal zodiac readings take very long to upload. And I want to just be able to give you guys consistent content. So thank you guys for people who comment, like, share, subscribe, what have you. But the reason why I want to do this is because we are in Mercury retrograde, which is going to be ending on February 3rd. And I myself have been feeling an energy of people sending out the evil eye, um, hateful, dark, low vibrational energy. So I wanted to do this reading to give you guys some clarity. Now I want to tell you, do not be afraid as you are protected in the name of God or whatever your higher power you believe in. If you are a person of high vibrational energy, you put out good vibration, you have pure intentions, you are blessed, you are protected. So stay prayed up, stay connected to your ancestors. And this is just to give you clarity. Now I'm already feeling a very nervous energy. So some of you guys have been feeling, may, might have been feeling anxious or nervous and this could be why. So I have some crystals here. I'm going to be lighting my prayer candle, the Lord's Prayer, with a black candle. And I'm lighting it with this because black is for banishment so as we light the um player the prayer candle with the black banishment candle we're lighting it because we want to banish anything that's sent to destroy us in the name of god we want us to be protected under the most beautiful white vibrational light and we also want spirit to know to remove what does not serve us and to um bring back into abundance in jesus name amen i say all right and i also have my rose quartz here in the middle, I have my black tourmaline as I, that um, absorbs negativity and negative energy. We have our purple amethyst because that's going to be us following our intuition. And I want to be intuitive with this reading. Now I have my rose quartz here as well because I want to take out anything that's not needed and then have love be put back in the situation. Father God, spiritual guides, ancient ancestors, please come into this reading for my collective. Let's be a message of love, light, and blessings. Please be able to give me a solid, clear message to help someone who views this video. Please keep out all the vibrational dark demonic energy. Energy, and please retend any negative low vibrational dark energy back to sender and protect the individual in the process and so it is as a bm and i'll say all right Woo! i'm getting heavy energies guys already so just stay prayed up if you do spiritual baths get you a salt bath because I feel like a lot of you guys are getting into new relationships. Valentine's Day is coming up. Some of you guys are going to be sharing the people, you know, who you're you're in love with. Some of you guys are getting new jobs. You know, it's a lot of new energy coming in. And whenever you move on to a new level, it's a new devil. But Spirit says typically it's somebody who'll be all up in your face in the shadow. Who's evil? I am my collective. Spirit said to take this card. Dial up. Somebody's watching you on social media but we know dial up that's some old school so it's gonna be somebody older than you or somebody in your age group because this is giving 90s energy but it's slow moving i feel like somebody um who's evil eye and you it definitely has to do with the internet if you have social media someone might see that you're very connected to the world and they're watching you and when you know like the process of dial up how how i remember when i was a kid how like you would you couldn't be on the phone while you was on the internet like somebody could literally get off the phone with you and then like go look at your page and send you negative energy someone might be like seeing things on your page and then they see something they don't like and then they call you and try to keep key or this could be somebody being on the phone talking about you what's going on your page a lot of nostalgia and this nostalgia always gets me people from your past or friends energy um someone that you used to probably hang out with at the mall this evil eye in you Okay, confetti rainbows in reverse. I don't know, for some of you guys, this is somebody who's a part of the LBG2, LBGTQ community and maybe has a crush on you if they're the same sex and because of whatever situation, the evil eye on you. I don't know why I just got that. Who's evil eye in my collective? Spare saying them motherfucking haters. I mean, I can't stand that bad. River. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anything else fall out? Oh. Alright. Back of the deck is notification red. What did I say, y'all? Thank you, Spirit. This person who's evil eyeing you is people who's watching your social media. And whatever they see is making them mad. Now let me grab my books to get some clear defini definitions for you guys. Here we go. Alright, let's start off with um I'm just gonna organize these so that. Mm. I'm 
again, somebody hates your organization. Somebody hates like how you're organized with your goals. All right. Slow, stagnant, lethargic. So dial up. The person who is, I'm getting this people you know or people from your past. I feel like people are talking about you behind your back, smiling your face. Now, with dial up, being slow, snag, stagnant, lethargic, this is somebody who something moves slow for them. And they feel like things are quickly happening for you, collective. Maybe you recently had a major glow up. Maybe you recently have been, you know, really flourishing on social media or just doing things you love. This, the person or the people who are evil eyeing, eyeing, eyeing you is because they feel like things aren't moving quickly for them. Now, Spirit is saying being very careful about telling people your, your business, telling people about... Um, if you've been feeling, and I've been feeling this energy too, collective, if you've been feeling like nervous whenever you tell certain people things, it's because that person is not happy for you. And I want you to know that what is for you is what's for you. And whoever sent you the evil eye, it will be returned back to them three times over. But just so you don't have that anxiety, don't even share shit with certain people. Now, um, we have hanging out at the mall, social friendly collective. So this is somebody that could be in your social network, your physical social network, or someone you hang out with, a friend, a relative. I'm getting somebody that you chill with, that you would go shopping with, or someone you used to hang out with. So this person feels like things move slowly for them and things move quickly for you. And this is somebody that could be in your collective energy. Um, if you're a tarot reader, it could be someone watching your tarot video videos in your collective. Um, but this is some Somebody who I you definitely have been around. I'm not getting a stranger. Okay, now give me um a, a, a river. Steady, gradual, patient. See, this person is very upset at how slow their life is moving. I feel like if this is somebody you know, like a friend, could be a close friend. This is somebody who like maybe you've gotten busy and you can't be around them like that. A bird just came right near my window. A spirit and ancestor saying this is a message. So it is somebody who... If you've been seeing a lot of birds, it's your ancestors trying to tell you things. And spirit says to pay attention to whatever you're thinking about at the time when you see these birds frequently. But listen, I'm also hearing this bitch is a bird. Ooh, it just flew back up. Oh, listen. Anyways. Um, this is somebody who it bothers them that your life is moving quickly. When you say you're going to do something, you do it. And I feel like this person has ideas and goals, but they don't know how to put it into action. And that's why they're evil eyeing you. Now, it might not even be that they hate you or want you bad, but they're jealous. And we all know jealousy is a low vibrational energy. So what comes behind that low vibrational energy can also be layers of hate and, um, you know, other darker energies so this is somebody who's very mad at how quickly things are moving for you in your life and if you even if you feel like you're stagnant this person sees you moving quickly okay now we have armadillo in reverse tough dis tough difficult firm but i see i feel like hmm, i feel like this person feels like your life isn't as difficult as theirs. Like they feel like their life is hard. And I look at that LOL. This is somebody who laughs at you in reverse behind your back. Or maybe if you have had hardships, they laugh at you. But this is somebody who feels like your their life is harder than your, their life is harder than yours, okay? We also have giraffe. Nosy, inquisitive, meddlesome. This is somebody nosy and look at that. There could be two people keeping tabs on you, talking about what the fuck you're doing. Didn't I say I'm getting the energy of people getting off the phone? Like, talk, like you post something, somebody calls you, or like they're just, you're being discussed. But these are people keeping tabs on you. Listen, and it's like nosy, inquisitive. Somebody who always want to know what you're doing, where you're at, who you were talking to, who you were with, what happened. And the difficult thing about those situations is when you think those people are a friend, you're just talking to your friend. Like, hey, what's up? This is what I got going on. This is what happened with so-and-so. This is the vibe. But it's like this person is like they want to build information. They always want to see what's up with you to make sure you're not doing that good. Mm, I don't like that shit. Colors. We have corporate blue, cold, sterile, bleak. I feel like this person, some of y'all are real fucking um, business savvy. I feel like corporate, I feel like that this person who's evil I and you was a little bit jealous of that. But I feel like this person could be like a little cold towards you or um they feel like people are cold, cold towards them. Hold on, let me keep this one out. Spirit, clarify this corporate blue. 
Thank you, experiment. Experiment. Oh, somebody is like experiment with the bullshit. <laughs> or trying to experiment with some dark magic. Spirit says don't do that. Okay, colors. So we had corporate blue, which is cold, sterile. Alligator in reverse. Aggressive, threatening, contentious. See, this person comes off as a lover. They come off like they fuck with you, but behind the cold scenes, they really feel like you're threatening. They feel like um, something that you do is, is making them cold towards you. It's something you're doing that's making them feel like aggressive towards you. And I feel like it's your light that's bothering this person. Now, we also have confetti rainbows in reverse. Choice selection options. This person feels like they don't got options. Some of you guys are very attractive. Some of you guys got a lot of opportunity in life. Some of you guys got a lot of suitors. And maybe you tell someone this. I'm feeling like, guys, I'm so sorry that this is a close friend. And this is somebody either you disconnected with or that you still have in your circle. And I feel like this person is just mad that you got a lot of opportunity. You got a lot of choices in life. Maybe a lot of talent. Maybe a lot of intelligence. And that bothers them. This is somebody who feels like their life is very stagnant. And you have so much going on i'm hearing it's not fair why does she or he get all of that now we have notification red urgent anxious pressing see this person be on your social media looking into your notifications looking at everything you're doing oh, who is calling me hello yes this is she who is this i'm well thank you okay guys so oh my god collective that was a long pause. So let me tell you the downloads that I just got during this process. So I just got a phone call unexpectedly of a delivery of a mattress that I'm getting. And literally, I had to get this new mattress because like my body, my neck has been hurting. So not only did I not know it was coming, I also was like kind of flustered. And I just like, you know, moved it into my apartment by myself. And it was really grueling. Um, in the same time, I moved my candle because I knew that bringing in the mattress, I didn't want to knock over the candle, cause a fire. So Spirit was just giving me the download because we, we all know everything that happens during the tarot reading is supposed to be a part of the reading. Some of you guys, this stagnant energy, some of you guys could have been very obedient to Spirit um, in the recent past. Um, very much following your intuition, going after your goals. I feel like some of you guys, this person... Because that was just one whole big distraction. Distraction. This person or people who are evil eyeing you come into your life every time you're doing well. Um, if you're a friend, like they want to distract you, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, they are working from a dark energy. So that probably is like they're just put in your life as karmics to try to distract you. But um, and I feel like if you've been going through any type of pain, any type of, you know, stagnation now with some of the stag stagnant energy, feeling like, you know, you weren't as motivated as you used to be. Like, you know, I was on my I was on my shit. Why am I not on my shit? It's because of this. You keep letting this person or these people in your energy or in your life because I am getting that this person or people evil eyeing you with someone, you know. So in the same way. Um, if you've been trying to cut somebody off, but you keep, you know, feeling bad or like, you know, getting lonely, missing them, spirit is saying that, that when I tried to put this, um, candle back on, um, I was trying to light it again with the banishment candle. It wouldn't go on. It wouldn't go on. It wouldn't go on. So it's kind of like you trying to, whatever you try to banish out of your life, this person is not easily letting go. Like this person's very much in your energy. Cause I think they're a little bit obsessed with you. Now, when, as you can see, I don't know if you can see on the inside of the candle, um, one, two, three, four, five, six drops fell in here of that black, um, candle wax. So what that's telling me is that this person could have been born in June or they could be a Cancer or a Gemini um, or something about the number six, which we all know what that number comes from. I think six also represents change. So I feel like people are just jealous of the fact that you're changing, but I just wanted to point that out. And then I do want to tell you when I use my white candle, which we, um, my white candles are for love and light, it lit with the um, first flame. So Spirit is saying, no matter what this person tries to send you, you will always be blessed as long as you stay obedient and you stay prayed up. But with this notification red, yeah, with that back of the deck energy, we know that notification read basically in this book what it means is that urgent anxious um this person is very very urgent anxious and pressed about your future and what you have going on for you so let's get out of this energy and let's move on to the tarot okay this might be a little bit longer because spirit is really telling me i need to give you guys this message so we're first gonna look into like who who is this person okay spirit who is this per five of cups 
somebody who's in regret. I feel like this person could have a lot of regrets in their own personal life. And so when they see you, um, they're sending you the evil eye either because they regret how they how they did you, um, which caused the disconnect and the connection, or they regret not filling up their own cup in their past and they see you. It's kind of like, you know, like if somebody tries to stop you from going after your dreams because they didn't, didn't go after theirs. Okay. Who else is this person that's evil eye in my collective? Star in reverse, somebody who's jealous of your talent. Some of you guys are talented and this person is upset that they didn't go after their talent or they're upset that they're not as talented as you. This is somebody who never poured into their own cup. Okay, we can have the four of rods with the hangman in the struggle position. This could be somebody who is also um, regretting the fact that they didn't see you as a star or wants to dim your light. Now with the four of rods, that's a relationship card. So this could be somebody from your past as well, like a couple, a relationship, a romantic partner that was in hangman about you, didn't want to show you how they felt. So now they regret, um, they regret, like they're bitter, the energy. So this definitely could have been a romantic partner. Okay, now we have the Six of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. I feel like this person definitely could be a masculine energy, um, but doesn't have to be. This could be somebody who's very materialistic, very grounded, very stubborn, very 3D, uh, husband, father type of energy. I feel like this person has seen that you moved on to calmer waters. Um, this is either a romantic partner or a, you know, a friend or a close relative or something. Um, and they feel like whatever they invested, they didn't get the return. So whether or not this is a friend or a romantic partner to how it resonates this person is, is upset with your is is mad at the fact that they don't pour into their own cup they regret that they feel like you are very talented and they're upset with your light they are seeing that you could also be in this king of pentacles energy but this is giving me a masculine have moved on to calmer waters no longer want to be in a connection or a relationship with them give me more on this five of cups for the person evil eye in my collective oh my god empress and the ten of pentacles yep this is somebody who regrets not being in a relationship with you the empress so for who you guys it's resonating that this is an ex-lover um this person, you guys could have definitely had a very like homie lumber friends vibe with this person. They're regretting five of cups that they did not build a ten of pentacles with you. Okay. What's the star in reverse for this person that is um evil eye in my collective? And the evil eye is just like being bitter, sending negative energy. It doesn't have to be as serious as like black magic. So just you know, letting you guys know that. Some people don't even know when they're evil eyeing. Because they have no self-awareness. Give me the star in reverse. The person evil eye in my collective. So for the people that it resonates with, um, that they, uh, it's a romantic partner or an ex, this person with that distraction, this person was very distracted. And I feel like there was a lot of like turmoil between you two. Okay, yeah, the star in reverse. Look at the queen of pentacles, but queen of wands. So there could have been another woman in this situation. It could have been a third party. So somebody could have went towards somebody else and now they're evil eyeing you or their partner could be evil eyeing you. Um, and I feel like this person is mad at your light because it's like they didn't seize it. This is definitely someone who you could have felt was a match for you. The queen and queen, the king and queen of pentacles are here. So this definitely could be an ex. And it's kind of like this person like now sees that you're working on yourself with the eight of pentacles and they don't have access to you. So they're upset. Um, give me this four of rods with the hangman in the struggle position. Yeah, somebody is all up in their head right now wanting to rush in, but they're keeping themselves isolated from you because they don't want to tower because you walked away. This person's also watching you, and they're but they're um hiding the fact that they're watching you with the page of sword in reverse. Big bitter energy. But spirit's saying this is somebody who kept you waiting. Yep, and this person evil eyeing you is mad because of the fact that you've moved towards victory, six of rods. You move towards calmer waters. The number six again. The six of rods and the six of swords. That's six, six, six. Okay, so that is kind of um, dark energy coming through for some people. But Spirit says, don't worry about it. You're protected. Okay? Yeah, this is somebody you left out on the code. A lover who was very toxic and is also very uh, obsessed with you. This person, you know, had a lot of love for you, but they left you burdened. Okay? And the fact that there were so many other people in the connection. Now, look at that. An emperor with the knight of pentacles with an empress. Some of you guys. This is an ex.
who's evil eyeing you and they're upset because now you are in a divine union or they feel like you are this person sees now that you have an emperor or an empress in your life that you're building with and this person is upset that things um they move slow towards you so they're watching you there was a lot of stagnation energy so for you guys with the first spread i was mainly getting like a friend or a close family member someone you hang out with a lot but now i'm getting that it could be an ex so take it how it resonates give me the king of pentacles for this person evil eye in my collective queen of wands so this king of pentacles is stuck with a queen of wands somebody that could just be like a but the queen of wands is like a third party energy and i feel like this person is evil eye in you but their, their partner could be looking at your shit too because they know this person loves you look at that queen of swords in reverse a karmic damn y'all got a few people watching you and I feel like this is the person, so I'm going to pull these three after and get more energy because I feel like these are the three energies that are evil eyeing you. And I feel like people are being very sneaky towards you because you are in this nine of pentacles energy. Single and abundant. Give me the seven of pentacles. Yep, somebody definitely rep uh, is regretting the fact that it's an end between you guys in a two of cups situation. They want to move towards you, chariot. All right, spirit. Let me get these energies out of the way. Okay. Yeah, you dropped the four of wands with somebody. All right. Spirit, give me this queen of wands who's evil eye in my collective. Who's this queen of wands, evil eye in my collective? I'm hearing a bitter bitch. Um, the fool in reverse. Somebody, see, somebody's mad at the queen of pentacles. You're single and abundant. I feel like you are the empress as well, and you have maybe just gotten into a new, rela new relationship. But I feel like you also are the queen of pentacles. You're very independent. You're very abundant. Okay, so this queen of wands feels like they're not able to take any action in their life. They never take a leap of faith, and I feel like they're very sexy, very attractive, and could come off as very confident, but they don't really operate in that wand energy because they don't take any action. So this is the person who's... um evil eye in you give me more on this uh fool in reverse i'm, I'm sorry fool in the struggle position yep <laughs> ace of wands in the struggle position somebody's mad at that the fact that they never get things started they're mad at the fact that they they're not able to take a leap of faith this is somebody who didn't follow their dream and they see you following your dream and they're mad about it okay so they're mad that they never take moves they never take action okay give me more on that energy I'm hearing spirits saying shit just don't move for them. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles, once again, whatever they invest in, they don't get their return in. And I feel like it's because spirits saying they don't have good, they don't have good intentions, the devil. I feel like a lot of these part, people's um, relationships don't work out either. Um, they're very toxic, but they're also obsessed with you. So I feel like this is somebody close to you, a friend, a family member, um, somebody that, or just somebody on your social media that sees that you're following a dream similar to theirs, or you're just following your dream and they're just upset that they don't have the strength or the um, confidence to do so. Now, who's this queen of swords in reverse? And it's kind of like, this is the queen of wands so this queen of wands has every single ability to follow their goals but they don't have the confidence or for some reason they're not activating their wand because they're not looking forward they're looking to their side this person's too worried about what you're doing and what other people are doing it's not like they can't become this queen of wands they already have the ability but they don't use it now, this Queen of Swords is a karmic energy, a cold, bitter, distant bitch, okay? That Queen of Swords did come out on top of this King of Pentacles as well. So I'm getting this as somebody who's like a friend, but I feel like this could be this King of Pentacles partner or ex. Who is this Queen of Swords in reverse who is evil eye in my collective? Okay, yeah, Spirit says juggling. This could have been somebody that your person or this ex of yours was juggling, okay? This person's very burdened by this situation, giving this Queen of Swords in reverse. Yep, <laughs> look at that. The hangman, because somebody made a decision that they didn't want to be in this situation anymore. Somebody left the relationship. So this could be somebody... This could be your current person's ex because we have the emperor and empress. Or this could be the, the person from your past who's still uh, very much in your energy, the person that they're currently with. I feel like this person keeps this shit a secret. It's kind of like an ex of somebody who um, is watching you. It's either their current girlfriend, boyfriend, or their ex that's watching you. Okay? Look at that. 
give me more yeah somebody that your person could have once been in a relationship with um have a family with I, I kept hearing bitter baby mama so some of you guys there's a bitter baby mama who's evil eye in you and it's because your person your emperor left them okay give me the king of pentacles take it how it resonates okay this is somebody who feels like there's no victory without you six of um wands in reverse so let me just clean this up this is somebody who also wants to apologize knight of cups you got a friend or somebody close to you that prevents them. They're not in karmic energy. I just think they're a little jealous that they don't have your confidence. They have all the tools, but they also do have the devil. Um, This person is just a little bit mad at your that the fact that you're like popular. It's like kind of like they love you, hate you. Then you got somebody who's very bitter because you could be dealing with somebody, this queen of swords in reverse, that your current person left them for and ex baby mom, baby daddy, whatever. Then you have an ex-partner that you thought could have been very much your equal. Like someone, if you're independent, they were independent. If there was on your their shit, you were on your shit. But this person could have rejected you and now they want to apologize. So they're kind of bitter about the fact, especially if you're dating someone else, they feel like there's no victory without you. Give me more on this King of Pentacles. Yep. Yeah. A third party situation, three of cups. So this is somebody who could definitely be drinking over you, but I feel like they chose someone over you. Yeah, they were in a king of wands energy as well. Very sexually attracted to you. We do have the king and queen of wands, guys. There's a lot of messiness going on. Take it how it resonates. I feel like some of y'all got couples watching you. You got exes and they current person watching you. You got friends watching you. But um, I feel like this person was in their king of wands energy. And that's why we're doing that. Yeah, this person's even evil eyeing you because they want to take action towards you. Yeah, page of cups. They want to apologize. But they turned their back on you or you did to them. Look at that. They want a new cycle with you. They want to offer you their cup now, but they feel like you close out the circle and you're no longer going to work on things on them. Like you're going off on a new path because this person didn't make you happy. So you're not communicating. You're just in your nine of pentacles energy, uh, cutting out the bullshit, holding back from them, isolating yourself. Okay. And what do they feel? Regret. Can't sleep at night. All up in their head. Nine of swords. Five of cups because they were indecisive about you and sneaky. Guys. Okay, so let's see. I'm thinking, Spirit, what's going to be the karma for these people sending the evil eye onto my collective? Okay, this Queen of Wands is certainly going to get some karma. And I just saw the Ten of, um, panic, the ten of Wands. They're going to be very burdened. They're going to keep being burdened. Oh, there's also a queen of pentacles in reverse, a karmic energy coming through. Okay, this is what Spirit's saying. This queen of wands, who I'm really getting is a close friend or somebody you know or used to chill with. You are in the queen of pentacles energy, right? I feel like that was you collective. This queen of wands karma for evil eye in you i feel like this is somebody who really talks bad about you behind your back okay and smiles in your face but they have all the tools they're just jealous they're not focused on themselves their karma's gonna be for talking bad about you evil eye in you worrying about what the fuck you're doing is that they're gonna become everything you are in the reverse so they're gonna be the queen of pentacles in reverse like the gold digger the bitch who's not stable the bitch who's not financially independent independent and abundant it's like they want to knock you off of your shit send you bad energy because they really want you to be this um like they want to act like you don't really got it how you got it your money's not really right you're not really independent and stable that's what this person wants to act like but their karma is gonna be is that they are that person <laughs> first just focus on your fucking self okay yep and I feel like at some point you're going to cut this person off and then they're going to be trying to find the strength to apologize to you. For some of you guys, some shit's going to come out about somebody that you was dealing with, that this person was dealing with too. I don't know why I'm getting that. Some of y'all, you're going to find out that this person close to you could have fucked your mans or somebody you was cool dating. And it could have been that kink. Okay, guys, I'm getting storylines. Some of you guys, you're dating somebody new. An emperor that you feel is your divine counterpart. What you got is their ex 
evil eye in you. The queen of swords in reverse. The person they left. Also, some of you guys have a close friend, family member, who doesn't fuck with you. That could have fucked somebody you were interested in. And now this person's going to get karma. It's like this person was so jealous of you. They tried to fuck up your relationship with that king of pentacles. Because when we pulled the king of pentacles, the king of wands came out. So it's like this person was operating in sexual energy, lustful energy. And maybe one of your friends um, smashed them. So this king of wands... Um, it's now in regret because they didn't come towards you as well. Messy boots. Yep, two of cups. All right, so this queen of wands energy, take it how it resonates. Or whatever this third party woman was, guys. They are going to, um, it could just be their partner eyeing you. It's different for everybody. I'm sorry if it's coming out confusing. It could just be their partner eyeing you, um, being mad at the fact that you make shit happen. But for some of y'all, I'm really feeling like it's like a fake friend that intentionally tried to fuck with somebody you fuck with. And um, <laughs> they evil eyeing you because that shit didn't stop nothing. Now, this King of Wands. What's going to be this King of Wands karma for evil eye in my collective? Spirit saying having to see you shine and not have you ever. Always be having to try to find someone like you but never quite having you. Yep, they're going to feel backstab and betrayal. That king of pentacles, spirit speaking. So spirit is telling me that this person, someone you were in a relationship with that you felt very stable with could have had a third party could have been someone you know or someone you don't know. And the person that they left you for is evil eye in you. And they're evil eye in you as well. So this um person, and they were two-faced, two personalities. Okay? Crazy. Um, but anyways, this that person's um karma is going to be getting backstabbed and betrayed. And the person who could have did it is this Queen of Wands, because this bitch was really the fake version of you, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Shit. What else? Yeah, their relationships ain't gonna work. Ten of Pentacles, and they might lose money. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yep, and they're always gonna be undecided. They're always gonna be blinded. They're always gonna be thinking about you. Give me this Two of Swords. What's gonna be their karma? Yep, shit ain't gonna move for them. The chariot in reverse. Yep, and they're always gonna be waiting. They're always gonna be waiting for you to come back. Or waiting for the right person. Give me this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yep, they're gonna have to watch you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. Abundant. Give me this um, Ten of Swords. Some of y'all are gonna find out about this person... Um, if it's, if it is resonating a friend situation, if you've been thinking that intuitively or found something out, that person's going to try to apologize to you, but spirit saying, don't trust it because this motherfucker's a karmic. Okay. Yep. So what's going to happen is that this person is the truth. They're going to feel backstabbed and betrayed by you moving on. Okay, they're going to be hurt. And they're already hurt. You're going to move on to another connection, which I already got for you guys with the lovers. Spirit saying that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. You're going to cut them out of your life. So they're going to feel backstabbed and betrayed. Like they played themselves. They betrayed themselves. Give me this King of Wands. Yep. So they're going to try to communicate with you. Eight of Wands. They're going to try to come towards you. You're going to give them the guns. I already moved on. And this person's going to be like, fuck. My relationship's fucked up. Now I'm just always going to be waiting on the collective. Okay. Yeah, because you already moved out. You closed out a cycle on this third party shit because you wanted something new. You felt burdened. You no longer give it to this person because you intuitively knew some shit was going on. The two of cups with a two of cups situation. You found out something that didn't make you feel happy. So now that king of pentacles is going to be all up in their head at night, feeling like none of their options, six of, uh, seven of pentacles in reverse, will ever amount to you. Because you ain't trying to work on it, eight of cups. You, you looking for something new. Why? Because this motherfucker's a toxic and brings nothing but no victory, toxic energy, towers. So you're done with that. No action. Mm, 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 mm. Give me more on this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yep. See, they ain't going to have no light in their life. None of this shit's going to pop off. There's going to be a lot of burdens and they're going to feel isolated. You might cut somebody off and then they're going to be feeling really fucking stupid. Now, give me this Knight of Cups for this Queen of Wands. What's going to be their karma for Evil Eye and my collective? Yep. Um, there ain't going to be no action towards them. 
And they're going to they gonna be trying to get out the cold with you. Like, they're going to feel fucked up for what they did. But it's like, the Knight of Swords in reverse ain't shit going to move for them. You're not going to move towards them. And this person is always going to feel like they can't get out the cold with you. Yeah, because there were some secrets about what, what they did to the fucking Empress. With a Ten of Pentacles in reverse, some of them was fucking with your man or your girl. So you ain't never going to let this person get up out the cold. And Spirit said it's going to come It's gonna come to the light. Now, give me the strength. Look at that. Yep, Ferris says they're going to be isolated from love. Yep. And I feel like any any relationships that they try to get into, three, there always will be a third party and it probably will always be sexually based. Okay, but they're going to always feel like they're not getting their return. Like, I feel like Ferris, like they're always going to be a side chick. <laughs> any final energies? Yep, people are going to always turn their back on them, but I feel like that's going to be you. Yeah, because they're toxic. You're leaving people out. You're leaving people out. And this person's going to be like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have done the collective like that. If it is somebody you know. But they're going to be stuck watching you. You're going to be guarded towards them. And you're going to know. You already know this intuitively with the high priestess. All right, guys. Let me get some messages. All right. Yep, somebody that cheated is evil eyeing you. Somebody that cheated you. Who's evil I am, my collective? Okay, can we really make this work? Negative. Somebody who's going to try to come back, that ex, and, you, and they're going to be like, can we make this work? And you're going to be like, no. They're evil I you. They're actually evil I in your relationship, Spirit saying. They don't want you to look. <laughs> they don't want your relationship to work. Demonic energy, black magic. What did I say? Evil I am. People are sending you the evil eye. So somebody's going to see that you're being spoiled in a committed relationship, and they're going to be very upset. I feel like this is going to be both sexes, friends, people on your social media, your exes. People are going to be mad. Yep. They're going to be jealous. So there's going to be a jealous, um, somebody who's jealous. That's um, a thought, a thought, or somebody who's going to try to say you're a thought because they're jealous. Someone's going to see that you're pregnant. Some of y'all are going to get pregnant by this new person you're dating. And um, this person's going to come back like I hid my feelings. Like that's going to kill them. Okay. What else? But Spirit's saying, don't you dare wor worry because divine intervention. Whenever people try to send you the evil eye, Spirit blocks it. Okay, this is somebody who is actually watching tarot readers and psychics um, trying to see what's going on with you. I feel like these so it's somebody here is like watching tarot videos. Um, and this person, I feel like this is this friend, um, that feminine energy, that queen of wands energy, um, who comes off like they're real. But really, this person has secrets. They blame others for their, they're immature, they're toxic, they have mad anxiety. They blame others for the fact that their life isn't moving forward. But it's because they care what other people think. So they evil eye on you instead. <laughs> Give me more energy. Okay, so you could have a Capricorn here who feels like it was the right love at the wrong time with you. That's evil eye in you. Yep, once again, somebody who was a thought who cheated on you. We have Leo energy here as well. Okay, and I feel like this person thinks you're very funny. Like, they love you, but um, they're just upset. Who else was evil eye in my... Um, collective <laughs> what do we say baby mama baby daddy who who feels like it's all mine some of y'all your person could have been some of y'all about to get married and their baby mom baby daddy is gonna be very possessive evil eye and that's that queen of swords in reverse yep somebody who's gonna be someone who's wearing a mask about the fact that you grew up we have libra Okay, so we can have a Libra who's evil eyeing, evil, secretly evil eyeing you because you're glowing up. Okay, we also have this person could have hidden me mental issues, and we also have a third party who's evil eyeing, eyeing you. What did I say? Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, what else? Huh, we have a divine feminine reverse, a divine feminine, a karmic. A karmic energy who is evil eyeing you. This could be someone you've known for two to three years or who's been in this energy for two to three years. Someone could be trying to say that you do drugs um, secretly. I don't know why I just got that. And definitely someone you had a situation ship is evil eyeing with. Evil, eye, evil eyeing you. Okay, because they see that you're happy. Maybe you guys are on your money and this person now wants to be more than friends with benefits. <laughs> guys, protect your energy. Protect your neck. Any more messages? 
Yep, some of y'all is a friend. Let your friends help you. So Spirit's saying be very careful about what you tell your friends. Who's evil eye in my collective? Somebody who feels like they have a lot of chemistry with you. It's, it's definitely an ex. Yep, somebody who's wearing a mask and hiding it. Deception. Or wore a mask and hiding it. But I'm getting, guys, this is a friend who be all up in your fucking face. Now, someone who has romantic feelings with you but feels like they can't express how they feel. Um, Somebody who wants to get away with you. Somebody's mad at the fact that you have a new love. Guys, some of y'all are in a relationship currently and their ex or child's parent is evil eyeing you. Some of you guys is someone from your past who loves you, that broke up with you, that could have secretly did something with one of your friends or just a third party. And then we also have that either that third party or that friend or family member is evil eyeing, evil eyeing, evil eyeing as well. Okay, gosh, I can't even talk. Now, I feel like you're going to find out something about this deception very soon. And it's going to be about the person that you release. Something concerning the person you released, you're going to find out about that deception. And I feel like Spirit said that this information was divine timing. It was worth waiting for. Who's evil eye in my collective? Somebody who's attracted to you and feels like you now deserve love. Somebody, y'all, listen. People are fucking with the wrong one, y'all. And Spirit's saying they all going to have their day. Okay, but Spirit says you got a feeling you just can't shake. Follow your intuition and don't be afraid to cut nobody to fuck off. There's really somebody who's been all up in your energy trying to be your friend, very nosy, trying to see what's up with you because they're trying to build ammunition. Okay, because you might find out some shit about that person and then not fuck with them and then they're going to kind of run and trying to run and tell your business. Okay. So, so spirit says believe what you see people are evil eye evil eye on the fact that you on your bag you bought your money you making it rain on these hoes but spirit says believe what the fuck you see or live in la la land you already know some of these people who are sending you negative energy so spirit says if you feeling something about this person follow your intuition okay because this person's gonna try to fuck up your bag okay and spirit says get the fuck out of your head take a shot so if you've been all up in your head about somebody about cutting somebody off about having some distance spirit says take take that move and get out of your head because you already know what you're what you're doing spirit says go do you because people are being shady okay just do you Stop trying to change people. That never works. There's a lot of purple here. Intuitively, you know this. We had the high priestess come out. Yeah, so spirit says detox. And if you've been waiting for a sign, here it fucking is. Some of you guys, you're a badass. Act like it. You've been waiting for clarification or confirmation about some of these people that you feel are sending you bad energy. Spirit saying it's time to cut them off because watch out. Shit could get ugly. Okay? Let me just get some... Some moonology. Final energy. Give me advice from my collective about what they should do about these people evil eyeing them. Spirits to stay prayed up and don't pay them motherfuckers no mind. Spirit says no matter what, you and your loved ones are safe. Cancer energy. No matter what, you and your loved ones are safe. So spirits saying don't worry about it. You and your loved ones are safe. You're protected and your ancestors are protecting you, Spirit saying. What else? Oh, yes, Spirit. Spirit says, hold on to your vision. And guess what? The end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon and Capricorn. Spirit says, hold on to your vision. Okay, because luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. Keep going after your goals. That Whatever tough cycle you've been in, it's not going to work. So Spirit says, don't worry about it. Be bold and make the first move towards your... See, these people are karmics that were sent to try to fuck you up because you're, you're about to do something amazing. Spirit's saying you're divinely blessed. Whatever you shoot that arrow to, it's going to hit. So be bold and make the first move towards what you want in your life. Any final energy about um, advice from my collective about the people evil eyeing them? Okay, bring love into the situation and communication is key. So Spirit says you are very close to achieving your goal. I want you to communicate with the people, Gemini energy as well, Aquarius energy. I want you to bring love into the situation with people, communicate with people that you feel good vibration from. That's what I'm getting. Bring love into those situations. Everybody else, cut the fuck off because you're very close to achieving your goal. Yep, and it's time to take action. New moon and Aries. Okay, guys? So that's what I got for you. There was something else on the floor. 
<laughs> spirit says you're unique so don't you worry about anything no weapon forms against you in the spiritual or physical realm will ever touch you sending you mad love and light stay protected get your prayer candles um work on your manifestation rituals get a manifestation book a prayer book and really just keep yourself listen to your intuition if you've been feeling weird vibes back away from these people nothing's gonna come of it but it could bring you more stagnancy and stress and you're too close to achieving your goal to let these people stop you detox all right, guys. See you later. Bye.